So yeah, walk us through the mechanism a bit there, Brian. Sure, we've got uh, this, uh, this pneumatic player. We've basically got a five point, uh, five cylinder motor that, and they're all offset. So as vacuum or suction is applied through the motor, um, it uh, opens and closes these, uh, these pneumatics, each of these five pneumatics. What actually allows them to, um, to, to shut, slam shut, is the vacuum itself, and then that pulls the, the little flap valve here, and, and which allows atmospheric pressure in to push them open. As that goes through the system, because they're staggered, that helps the cam uh, continue to continuously turn. Here you can see it's connected to a chain, and the chain is connected to what I would call just a master, uh, the, the master um, cam, and that is attached to a lever here, and here you can see downward in the play position, it, uh, it's attached to this large large uh, disc, or this, this large gear, which basically powers what's called the take-up spool. So that's play, that brings the roll from the top down over the tracker bar, 88 notes, 88 holes, one corresponding for each note, um, and that would take the roll down uh, and, and allow the music to be played. Now when you're done, you flip the rewind switch up, you basically hit the rewind, and uh, that disconnects the main cam from the lower gear and actually engages the uh, upper, uh, the, uh, the main, uh, the, uh, the, the, the race spindle, which allows it to spin in reverse so you can rewind. If you're not careful with the player, if you don't rewind it, what will happen is when you get to the end, and you're not, actually playing, you're not uh, paying attention, it can actually continue to just roll the paper right off the roll. Not that big of a deal, but you want to kind of be aware of when it's play rewind, and then you can see that on the roll itself. It looks like rewind. Press rewind, and that again disconnects. There you can see it. Play, rewind. There's one other thing. Basically, there's an inconsistent supply of, of air being driven to the motor. If there's more notes that are being played, then there's less power that's actually supplied to the motor. So what we what what uh, to compensate for that, so that the music stays at a constant speed, we've got a governor here, and that's basically a flat valve inside that covers a certain size hole and lets a uniform amount of air in. So if, for example, it's getting too much air and it wants to speed up, then the governor will close a bit and slow things down. If it's getting too much air. Uh, or not enough air, and it's really slow, then the governor will open up and speed things up. Likewise, with the tempo slider, same type of thing. There's a slot in this little box that is uh, uh, graduated, so when it's fast, it lets more air in to the motor, and it will spin faster. When it's slower, it cuts air, cuts the amount of air supply to the motor down. Really see the difference. Classic American over engineering likes that we will, we will uh, most likely never see again. But this is in 1915. This was the pre premier form of entertainment at the time, pre radio, obviously pre television. Uh, so people played the piano, and then when they didn't quite have the discipline to, to really learn to play that well, like myself, they uh, would go to the store buy a new roll for their player piano so they can fire it up. So here you have a close-up of the works, the basics at least. Where did you find this piano, Brian? I got this, uh, this was actually um, listed on Craigslist and uh, I went and checked it out and you know some of the parts were working. It looked like it was in pretty good shape. I always wanted to, to do some work on players so I, uh, I bought it and then it sat in the back for a long time. We finally got going on it uh, a couple months ago, and um, we just uh, we just unveiled it. So we played and enjoyed. Uh, it's it's, it's, uh, it's we're having a lot of fun with it. I've got about 40 rolls and uh, probably only listened to about 10 of them. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of fun to get. Like uh, like any music, there's some rolls that are absolutely horrible, and you wonder why they were cut. And then there's some rolls that are pretty good and you, you end up playing those out just like uh, just like your old records you know you wear out the groove so um, so we're uh, we're hoping this would find a good home and in the meantime it's, it's got a good home right here
like that playing that ride. <laughs>